Welcome to Wharton County Junior College. We hope this presentation will provide you with an information-packed overview of WCJC. We'll review our campus locations, degree types, program offerings, benefits of attending, financial aid, and everything you need to know about our admissions process to enroll. Let's get started. Wharton County Junior College has four campus locations spread across the southwest region of Texas. Our main campus in Wharton, Texas offers students a traditional college experience. We provide residence halls, a dining facility, a Pioneer Student Center along with a fitness center available to students, faculty, and staff. Students interested in baseball, rodeo, or volleyball attend the Wharton campus as well as those interested in joining our band, choir, art, and drama programs. Moreover, the Wharton campus is home to our Johnson Health Science Center where students will find our human services, health information technology, nursing, dental hygiene, physical therapy assistant, radiology, and emergency medical services program. Students will also find most of WCJC's technical programs as well as academic courses to transfer to a four-year college. Our Richmond campus is a satellite campus where students can find a bookstore, tutoring services, a computer lab, academic courses to transfer, and specific technical programs such as cosmetology, process technology, paralegal studies, EMT, early childhood, digital media, and the police academy. The Sugarland campus, conveniently located inside the University of Houston Sugarland location, provides students the opportunity to take academic courses to transfer to any Texas four-year public institution or continue to complete their bachelor's degree at the UH Sugarland location in specific areas of study. Two notable WCJC technical programs offered at the Sugarland location are computer simulation and game development and our associate's degree in nursing programs. Our Bay City campus specializes in three areas of study, nuclear power, manufacturing, and process technology. This campus is conveniently located near one of two of the state's only nuclear power plants. When choosing a major pathway at WCJC, it's important to recognize the purpose of each degree type. The purpose for an Associates of Arts or AA degree is to put students on the path to transfer to a four-year college. All Associates of Arts programs provide students with a two-year timeline to complete their degree. An Associates of Applied Science or AAS degree prepares students for careers in specific areas by providing more hands-on learning and vocational courses. Most AAS degrees can be completed in two years. However, for programs that require prerequisite courses, the time to completion can be three years. Certificate level programs can be completed in one year or less. Their purpose is to provide hands-on training to certify students in a particular skill that will allow them to work in that area. TSI testing is not required for our level one certificates. Let's take a closer look at the programs offered in each of these areas. Here we have a list of all Associates of Arts major pathways offered at WCJC. Major pathways is a term often referred to a student's major or area of study. If a student is undecided on their major or WCJC does not offer the student's specific area of study, they will be encouraged to follow general studies. Additionally, all AA major pathways include the Texas core curriculum, which are the basic core classes all students pursuing a bachelor's degree require, such as English, math, government, humanities, psychology, science, history, and creative arts. Most students want to ensure the courses they take at WCJC will transfer to a Texas four-year college. Our academic advisors are prepared to provide students with the WCJC academic map and a transfer guide provided by the university to help explain to students how their courses will transfer and apply to their degree at the university. While students are encouraged to visit with an academic advisor about their transfer plans, 
It is also highly recommended that students research their university's transfer requirements and contact an advisor at the university. Students should search for GPA requirements, deadlines, and scholarship opportunities. In these next slides, we'll introduce you to our Associates of Applied Science and Certificate programs, along with the average starting salary for each of these programs. Please note, some programs require an additional application to enroll. Career Coach is a beneficial tool for any student interested in exploring future career opportunities. If a student is undecided on a major or career, they are encouraged to start with a career assessment. Students have the option of completing a six or 60 question assessment that upon completion will provide program and career matches based off their interests. Students can also explore careers if they're interested in learning more about job salaries and qualification expectations and search their program to view possible career opportunities in their specific area of interest. Moreover, Career Coach helps students build a professional resume and search live job openings. To access Career Coach, visit www.wcjc.edu and click on Programs from the home page.
Hopefully by now we've introduced you to some of the many benefits of attending Wharton County Junior College. In addition to our convenient locations, on-campus housing, transferable classes and career pathways, WCJC also offers students opportunities to get involved on campus and personal attention in our small classes that provide students with a more comfortable learning environment compared to what some might find at a large university lecture hall. Most notable is the lower tuition cost afforded to all of our students. When we talk about tuition and fees, we are accounting for classes only. For comparison's sake, we're going to say that the first year of college, every student is taking core classes. If every student is focusing on mostly core classes their first year, the cost for these same classes is going to vary depending on the type of institution each student is attending. The average tuition and fees for one year at a private university is roughly $25,000 versus at a public university, which is roughly $10,000 and only $5,000 at an institution like Wharton County Junior College. Now when we compare the total cost of attendance, which includes room and board, books and supplies, a meal plan, transportation to and from school, and other miscellaneous costs, you can see the total cost of attendance at a four-year public institution versus Wharton County Junior College with or without the dorms is still significantly higher. Additionally, if you consider your first two years of college at WCJC versus a public university, you could estimate saving roughly $36,000. Imagine having this kinds of savings to use when you transfer, or if you are using loans, imagine completing two years of college with at least $36,000 less in debt. While Wharton County Junior College is modestly affordable, we encourage all students to complete a FAFSA application, which is a free application for federal student aid found at www.fafsa.gov. There are different types of aid students can qualify for when applying for financial aid. The first of these are grants, which are awarded to students who show a financial need and is money they do not have to pay back. Work study is the second type of aid that provides students part-time work opportunities on campus. This type of aid is also only awarded to students who prove a financial need. The third type of award are scholarships. Students must complete a separate application to apply for scholarships at WCJC. However, a FAFSA application can help students become eligible for merit-based or need-based scholarships. The last type of aid are loans. This should be a student's last resort for aid. If a student is not eligible for grants, work study, or scholarships, they will more than likely be offered fixed interest rate loans that must be paid back over time. Students are eligible to combine their financial aid awards to accept only what is needed to pay for the academic school year. If a student does not apply for financial aid or prefers to pay out of pocket, WCJC offers flexible payment plans. Here are a very few important dates to remember. The FAFSA application opens October 1st every year. Students may apply at www.fafsa.gov and must complete a new FAFSA application every year to continue receiving benefits. The priority deadline to submit the FAFSA to WCJC is June 1st. If students require assistance to complete their application, they are encouraged to email our financial aid advisors at finaid at wcjc.edu. The WCJC scholarship deadline is April 1st. The application opens on January 1st every year students may apply through the WCJC website. WCJC is committed to providing a discrimination-free environment for students with disabilities. WCJC will arrange learning accommodations for students so long as they follow the procedures to self-identify their needs to the Disability Services Coordinator prior to the start of semester, and provide the appropriate documentation that is no more than five years old. The Disability Services Coordinator will determine the appropriate accommodations on an individual case-by-case -case basis. Some of the accommodations available to students include 
extended testing time, distraction-free testing, preferential seating in class, instructor notes, copy of PowerPoint presentations, and audio recorded lectures. Students may contact the Disability Services Coordinator at disabilityservice at wcjc.edu. New first-time in college students must complete their admissions checklist prior to registering for classes. The admissions checklist includes completing a free application to WCJC at www.applytexas.org, submitting an official high school transcript, providing proof of the bacterial meningitis vaccine, submitting TSI and or exemption scores, and for some students, providing residency documentation. In the next slides, we will provide instructions for submitting these admissions requirements. Before submitting any of the other admissions documents to WCJC, students are required to complete a free application to Wharton County Junior College. WCJC does not require essays, resumes, or letters of recommendation to apply. Once a student has submitted their application to WCJC, they will receive an email from the Registrar's Office within 48 hours that will contain their WCJC student ID. We ask that students check their junk and spam folders if the email does not arrive directly to your inbox. To complete the bacterial meningitis form, students have one of two options. Option 1 allows students to attach their immunization record with proof that they've had the bacterial meningitis vaccine within the last five years, or attach medical exemption documentation. Option 2 allows students who have not had the bacterial meningitis vaccine within the last five years to take the form to their local physician or pharmacist and have the medical professional sign and date the form. Students must submit the form and documentation to the Registrar's Office at registrar at wcjc.edu. Students will receive the WCJC bacterial meningitis form in a PDF format, as seen on this slide, in the first email received with their WCJC ID. Students can also find the form on the WCJC website at www.wcjc.edu and click on Admissions, Admissions Forms. Students applying during their senior year may submit a current transcript to complete their admissions checklist. After graduation, students will be required to submit a final high school transcript to show proof of graduation. Students may choose to send their transcripts electronically or by mail in a sealed copy to any of our WCJC campus locations. WCJC does not require SAT or ACT test scores. However, students may choose to submit them if they meet the minimum score requirements to be exempt from all or parts of the TSI. The first chart on this slide lists the exemption scores for the SAT and ACT, as well as dual credit exemptions for students who successfully completed college level credit. If students meet the minimum score requirements, they must send an official copy of their test scores from College Board for the SAT or the official ACT website. If students have evidence of dual credit, they must provide WCJC with an official college transcript. If a student has the above exemption scores by way of the SAT, ACT, or dual credit, then they do not need to take the TSI. However, if a student does not have exemption scores, for one or more areas of the TSI, then they must take the TSI assessment. WCJC offers the TSI at the Richmond, Warden, and Sugarland Testing Centers. If students require an appointment, they may visit our website, www.wcjc.edu, and click on Admissions, Testing Center, Testing Schedule. The TSI is not a pass or fail assessment. It simply determines whether a student will start in college level or developmental courses. The minimum benchmarks that determine college readiness are listed on this second chart. If students are providing TSI test scores from their high school, they must complete the WCJC online TSI score request found on our website by clicking on Admissions, TSI score request. 
not all students will be required to submit proof of residency. This requirement is based on how students responded to the residency questions on their Apply Texas application. For proof of Texas residency, students may select to submit one item from the first bulleted list on this image. This may include a copy of the student's permanent driver's license, voter registration, or tax documents. For proof of U.S. residency, students will submit one of the document options from the second bulleted list, which may include a notarized affidavit or a copy of the student's permanent resident card or eligible visa. All copies of residency documentation must be sent to the registrar's office at registrar at wcjc.edu. If students require further assistance with residency requirements, they may visit our website and click on Admissions, Residency Requirements, or call the Registrar's Office at 979-532-6303. Lastly, all students have access to view the status of their admissions checklist. Students can view their progress by clicking on admission status from the WCJC homepage under WCJC Connect. Students will need to log in using their WCJC student ID for the username. Remember to always include the at symbol. For the PIN, students will use their date of birth in a six digit format using the first two digits of their birth month, birthday, and the last two digits of their birth year as shown on the example on this slide. That brings us to the end of our presentation. If you have any questions or require further assistance, please email us at recruitment at wcjc.edu. We hope to have provided you with lots of information to help you get started on a path to success starting at Wharton County Junior College. Go Pioneers!